There you go. Hey, welcome guys. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy night to be with us. Um, super excited to have you on our call. We have a lot of new faces here. Um, for those of you who are newer coaches, Cozy and I used to work together like nonstop. So our teams were kind of joined for a long time. So some of you girls know everything about Cozy or me, whichever team you're from, and some of you might not have any idea. So Cozy is a friggin' amazing coach. She's been doing this since almost the second Micah signed up because she's Micah's sister-in-law and she just kind of did what she was told. Um, and it took her a couple of years to decide to run with it. And then even after that happened, there was kind of a slow start for her and me at the same time. Um, and then when she figured out what was missing, it was all up here and she figured that out and she took off like a shot and she hasn't looked back since. So she was a 2019 elite coach. She's well on her way to being 2020 elite. And she was just recognized for um, Success Club 10 All-Star, which is so freaking awesome. If you don't know what that, what that is, it just means that she has hit Success Club 10 or higher every month for the last 12 months. Huge, you guys. Y'all know how hard it is to hit Success Club, much less Success Club 10. And she is going to share with us some thoughts about how she did that and why it's important and how it's really not as hard as it seems. So I'll kick it over to you. Yes, it's not, I mean, it's not as hard as it seems. I actually had one of my coaches to, uh, like reach out today and was like, okay, I am like so excited some days about the business and about what we do as coaches and some days I'm not. I'm like, well, welcome to the world because that's how it is every single person. <laughs> like some days we want to talk to all the people and message every single person that ever we ever see it on any platform of social media. And then some days you literally don't want to talk to a soul. You don't even want to open your phone and you guys that's normal. And, but you have to have a non-negotiable set amount of connecting and invites you do every single day. And that's literally been like the last three years maybe of my business that has been like non-negotiable. Non-negotiable for me is nothing crazy. I don't send 50 invites a day. I would lose my mind. It's five invites a day, non-negotiable. Most days I do 15, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't do any. Monday through Friday, five, I do not go to bed, you guys, until five is done. And that you guys, that is not hard. You can literally send five invites in five minutes while you're going to the bathroom. Who knows? You know what I mean? It doesn't even matter. But at the same time, I also learned that when I would tell myself all the time, like even when I was in school, sometimes I didn't do what I wanted, do what I said I wanted to. But I very much learned that later when I say, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, that definitely becomes never because <laughs> by the end of the day, you're tired, you are exhausted, you, I mean, I'm sure as moms, you definitely are just done. So get in the habit of send the thing that you like, dislike to do the most, do very first. So I don't dislike working out. So sometimes I work out at the butt crack of dawn, but sometimes I totally don't. And but I try to get my invites early in the morning every single day because I still, to this day, you guys, I don't love doing invites. I don't. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Some, I love it when they respond and they're excited, but the whole having to send X amount of invites is not super fun, but that's how you change people's lives. Because honestly, if I would have never invited people to join my team, I would not know any of the people I literally talk to every day. And that's kind of weird to think about. Um, but I definitely learned that <laughs> later becomes never. So the second you wake up, do the, do the activity that you just like doing the most, get it out of the way. And then you're done for the day and have a set number. So my set numbers, even three years ago, even now are five invites a day. Okay. And Monday through Friday, so five days a week. And an hour of connecting because honestly, you guys, if you're not connecting with people and being friends with people and getting to know other people, you're never going to, it's harder to send invites. So set your alarm for an hour, set your alarm for 30 minutes, set your alarm for 15 minutes, whatever time you have during the day and just connect for that period of time. Don't get distracted by all the other stuff you see on social media and connect. Okay. And those are the two non-negotiables that I tell myself I have to do before I go to bed every day. 
um, I have this quote that it said in five years, what, and this is like, I, this, this book is like super old. This is probably like five years old when Micah gave these to us, like forever ago. Um, I wrote this down and I re kind of gone through it. Like I'll do that. Sometimes I'll go through all my old notes and just kind of read through stuff. Cause I might've wrote something down three years ago that didn't really mean much, but it might totally like resonate with me more now. So I like to go back through stuff. And it says in five years, what will I think of myself if I did not give it all I've got? And you just have to think of that is you're going to be dang proud of yourself. If you literally gave it all you got, you might not be where you want to be because let's be honest, everybody's timeline of being successful in this business or not is different. It's going to be different. But if you give up, obviously that's the only way you're going to absolutely fail is if you just give up. But like, ask yourself, like, am I, what will I think of myself if I give it all I got? Cause I was actually talking to Diana's not on here anymore, but she like, not to like throw her under the bus, but she <laughs> messaged me yesterday and was like, Hey, I'm sure she was at success club four. And she was like, but at the end of the day, I miss success club, but she was like, I know that for the whole month of September, September, I gave it all I got. And I 100% believe her because Diana is like one of the hardest working coaches I have. And like, as long as you can literally go to bed at night and be like, Hey, I just gave it all I got. I'm super proud of myself for what I did today. And just go from there every day. It doesn't have to be like, Oh, in five years, I want to be here. Where do you want to be in a month? You guys like, where do you want to be a month from now? How many of you would love to make $150 this month? Honestly, like probably all of you. <laughs> I would like to make an extra 150 also. Then hit success club. Like you hitting success club, that's $150, you guys. So when people say like the success club should be non-negotiable, it 100% should be non-negotiable and you're growing your income. You're getting customers. You're growing your income. You're boosting your confidence of, yeah, maybe I can do this and I can be a leader and I can find people to help them do a challenge group or coaching, whatever, whatever it might be. But like have those non-negotiables that you have for yourself. So I'm just curious. You guys honestly can ask me questions because I do better with that. If you just ask me questions, but write in the chat, like what's your non-negotiable whether it's invites, whatever it is, it can be your workouts, how many workouts you get in every day or every week. But what's like your non-negotiable with invites connecting? I'm just curious because, and it doesn't, have, it can be totally different for everybody. So just because somebody writes something, don't think that you have to have it. Okay. Because some people's non-negotiable is sending 20 invites a day. And for me, it wasn't that most days I send around 15, but if I'm having a really bad day, <laughs> I at least tell myself I have to send five. Cause let's be honest. We all have bad days sometimes or like, again, we don't want to talk to a soul. So yeah, I'm just curious. What are your non-negotiables? Write it in the comments. Allison says she has no idea. She likes the five invites and one hour connecting. Yeah. I, and honestly, I think that's like a good baseline for me. It was because I didn't want to feel like I was super, like super burnout. I don't want to send 50 invites a day. Um, so five is totally doable. We can invite that in five invites can be like one to to coaching and four to a challenge group or five to a challenge group or five to a coaching, whatever it might be, just inviting people to do it with you, you guys and connecting you guys. If there's anything that you should slack on, it should never be connecting. Aaron, non-negotiable is showing up in stories right now. Five invites a day, maybe better though. Okay. That's fine. Like, you know, where you need to get better then that's, you just got to do it. And you guys showing up in your journey. I've also had some coaches this week, last week. And they were saying like, I just can't get people to join me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hey, you guys, do you think that like taking a step back and stop showing up for yourself is going to help you get people? It's absolutely not. So that's when you have to still show up for yourself, honestly, even more and show people that you're not going to give up. Because for some reason, I think I'm, for some reason, people kind of wait especially for some of the newer people, people wait to see when you sign up, they like kind of wait to see when you're going to fail and give up. And that sounds really bad, but it's just true. Um, cause I've like subconsciously done that before too. And like where people will talk to me about coaching and then all of a sudden they join another 
network marketing. And I'm like, Hey, we'll see how long that lasts. Like that sounds terrible, but I've had those thoughts. So I know that other people do. Um, Kylie, I try to split it up and do 10 every other day. Yeah, that's perfect. And yeah, connecting for an hour a day. Perfect. But Candace, what do you have? What's like, what are you doing with your non-negotiable every day? Like what do you have for yourself? I invite in waves still, depending on what we're filling. Yeah. Um, so my non-negotiable has been following a hundred new people a day. So I'll go follow a hundred and then I connect with any of them that are public accounts. Obviously if they're private, I have to wait for them to accept me. Um, but that's my biggest focus right now because I just, I need new blood, new people to see my stuff. So a lot of connecting and expanding. Yeah. And that's the thing is like, you can send invites to all the followers you have, but if you're not connecting with them or if, honestly, if you guys just don't vibe, you're wasting your time. So finding go out and finding new people to connect with, that's perfect because I mean, I still have 21 social kind of work my Instagram and find people but I need to be better at actually going and find like my exact people. So if you guys don't have something like, even if you go and add for new coaches, add 10, 10 or 20 new people to your, to your Instagram or whatever every day, you guys, that's going to add up and then connect with those people. Um, Allison said, that's exactly why I joined Candace's team. I watched her for several months and just knew she was the real deal. It's so true because she's was still showing up every day and wasn't giving up. So, I mean, how many of us watched our, I mean, I didn't cause I was not forced, but kind of like you need to do this. Um, a lot of people watch for a long time before they actually join. Alex says you go outside of your normal and just add anybody. Cause I'm struggling with the friending, just anybody. Yeah. Uh, I know it's weird at first cause I think every single person probably felt weird at first. Um, but I definitely do more on Instagram now and I don't think it's weird on Instagram. Like I'll follow anybody on Instagram. Facebook is still a little bit different because sometimes like, I'm not going to go add somebody that I have zero mutual friends with. I you have to have like 10 to 15, 10, 10 to 20 mutual friends on Facebook to add them. But on Instagram, if they have any posts that are anything like mine, or if they're following the same hashtags or they just look like somebody I'd actually like to be friends with, I'll follow them. And I'll do the whole five, three, one, where you like five photos, comment on three and then follow. So yeah. Yeah. Kylie said she followed Kayla for a year. That's crazy. You guys. So that's another thing. Don't get all sad when people tell you no, or when people ghost you because it happens to every single one of us and it's going to continue to happen, but don't give up on that person because when the time is right for them, they're going to go with the coach and the person that is talking to them at that time. It has happened over and over all the time. Um, Kai or Allison, how do you choose a hashtag to follow? Just find something that you're interested in. I mean, Candace, we know that Candace likes Harry Potter. She likes uh, crafts, stuff like that. So she would go and try to follow something outside of health and fitness. You guys try to find something to connect with people outside of health and fitness that you can go and find a common ground that you can talk about and connect with them in that way. Because let's be honest, even if people are into crafts, they still need help and workouts and meal plans and stuff in their life. If you go and sometimes follow only like workout and, and eating hashtags, then you're just going to get a whole lot of people that are already into it. Do you know what I mean? You have to be kind of careful too. Like when you pick a hashtag, you need to go look at what kind of people are posting on that hashtag. Cause Harry Potter's got a lot of freaks. Like <laughs> I haven't found anyone through the Harry Potter connection. I found a lot of people who share that connection, but I haven't found them through the Harry Potter hashtags because the people who are using those tags are freaks. <laughs> so like you really want to kind of scroll through what's been posted under that hashtag a little bit, just like five seconds quick glance. And if they're a bunch of little kids or they're kind of freaky, then it's the wrong hashtag. Just keep looking. The right. other thing you can do is if there's a tag that you're like, I think this one's a great one. This is totally my market. And it's got like 10 billion posts. It's too big. But what Instagram does when you search that hashtag is they'll give you a list across the top of similar hashtags that are related. You can kind of go down the rabbit hole and start clicking on some of those find one that still fits your market, doesn't have quite so many 
massive amounts of posts. Um, and you can just kind of specify your hashtag a little bit more that way. Yeah. And like people that are moms or people that are like maybe country or a favorite food you like, like there's millions of different things that you can connect with people on different levels where you're at, where you live. And a lot of times, even if you kind of like want more of a local team or people that are around you go to a restaurant or something or boutique stuff like that that's by you and you can go and follow their people and like their people so like candace said look at like for the hashtags but even if you go to somebody's page and honestly if the first couple photos aren't catching your eye they're probably not your people okay because i've followed tried for a minute i'm like well they look nice but i'm like they had they have a million pictures of their kids but they have not one picture of themselves ever like not even with their kids. I'm like, Hey, I don't even know what you look like. I probably am not going to follow you, you know? So if their first six photos or first nine photos don't catch your eye, then move, move on. Don't waste your time. Don't overthink it. Definitely don't overthink it. You can always unfollow people, but don't overthink it. So is that what you mean by an hour of connections, finding people to follow? So that's more expanding, but you can kind of combine the two, Allison. I would, like I said, do the 531, Shalene Johnson's. So find an account you like, go like five of their photos, comment on three different ones, and then follow them. So that kind of counts as connecting and expanding your network. Okay. So that's what I, that's what I do a lot is especially the connecting. I used to pay somebody to go and do my connecting and I just had them stop a couple months ago. Cause I'm like, I kind of feel like I need to be the person to go in and connect with them because I know what I'm looking for. Do you know what I mean? So honestly, you can outsource connecting, but I would say if you can, like spend the time and do it yourself for sure. Um, what is, so yeah, five, three, one, like five photos, comment on three different ones and then follow is the one. And sometimes they're not going to follow you back and that's okay. <laughs> It's not a big deal. So I, if people don't follow me back, I'll still follow them for a while. And then obviously if they like, don't ever respond to anything I'm saying, then I might unfollow them. But yeah, it's totally normal. Don't get your feelings hurt if they don't follow you back. Cause that happens to all of us. <laughs> but yeah, I think connecting should be a part of some type of non-negotiable every day. Honestly, and you guys honest, like have a day where you're completely unplugged. Most people do Sunday, but if Sunday's a day that you don't, like if Monday is a really busy day for you, then have it be Monday. Have a day that you're unplugged with your family, doing, doing family things where you're not worried about your phone. Cause then you can start fresh that next week. And it's actually really nice to not be worrying about or even thinking about coach coaching stuff for one day a week. But I think that kind of ties back into what you were saying earlier too. If you're going to be, what do you have to do to be proud of your efforts? And I think you can break that down into smaller chunks and say, what do I have to do five days a week that I can feel good about my work? Good enough to say, okay, Saturday I'll post a little bit, but otherwise I'm off, off, I'm not doing any power hour on Saturday and Sunday I'm unplugged. Like what do you have to do on your work days? to feel good about having those unplugged days. Cause I know that's something that I really struggled with. Like I would kind of suck all week, do a little bit, just kind of tiptoe around the business stuff. And then the weekend would come and I'll be like, I got to do some extra work on Saturday and blah, blah, blah. And then all that family time's ruined. So what do you have to do on your scheduled work days, whatever they are to feel good about having those unplugged days because you have to refresh and rejuvenate and be off sometimes. Yeah, no, 100%. And like, honestly, you guys treat it like a job. So would you, you can't, you wouldn't be able to slack all week in your job. And then all of a sudden, like try to catch up on the weekend, like treat it like a job and give it your all for an hour a day. You guys, every single one of us can somehow carve, carve out an hour a day, do it. And then guess what? The weekend you can unplug and go spend time and go do fun things, go do all the Halloween stuff that people do. Do you know what I mean? So just have that discipline to force yourself to do it when sometimes you do not feel like it and that's okay. 
and it's just how it is. Um, Alex just asked, is there a folder you can put new followers in on Instagram? Like there is on Facebook. Yeah. So you, it's called collections. So if you go to your Instagram, I never know how to like, it's just like natural. So I don't think about how to, so then you go to your own page and the three dots on the top. And then you go to the little bookmark that says saved. You can't even see it, but it puts them all into different folders that you can go to and go back to and connect with them. So, and it's super easy. So you go to somebody's post and that little flag at the bottom, that's how you save it. So yeah, if you're not doing that, totally do that because then when you go to connect with people, then it's so much easier just to have one place where all of the people that you're trying to connect with are just right there. But yeah, I don't know you guys. I just think that honestly, this, when you have, like when you're doing this every single day, it might not pay off this month. It totally might not. Chances are it is going to pay off three to six months or three months to a year down the road. But you guys, I promise it's super worth it. So worth it because once like it's just a habit now it's just a habit i just do it every day and i don't have to think about it and that's just part of my day do you know what i mean like once you kind of get to where your workout was part of your day it's just what you do like get get to that place with your power hour and you just do it you know what i mean but the process of getting there sometimes is hard and sometimes is not very fun but once you get there you're just like sweet this is it's just how you do it allison said is it important what time of day you do the connecting invites I mean, I don't do it when you know you're going to do it. That's what I would say. Like if you, for me, I try to do it in the morning to get it out of the way and get it done with. But if you would rather sit at night after kids or whatever in bed, then do it then. So it totally just depends. But I, if you, if I, if it was me, I would have a set the same time every day to do it. Don't do it in the morning one day in the afternoon, one day in the evening, one day, like that's going to be a mess. So have it the same time every day that you can just get it done. I don't, there's definitely not a right or wrong time to do it. <laughs> Whatever works in your schedule. Like Candace, I think you did a post not, not, a, uh, not too long ago was about like, Oh, when's the best time to work out? It's when you're going to just do it. <laughs> like it's not in the morning, not at night, not in the middle of the day. It's different for everybody. It's just when you're going to do it. And it goes, it's the same with your power hour. So. Yeah, you're going to hear people talk all the time about research shows the best time to work out, blah, blah, blah. Not if you don't do the workout. Or you're going to hear like the algorithms say that the best time to be on Instagram is not if you're not going to do it at that time. Like the best time to be on Instagram working is the time that you have to be on Instagram working. The algorithms don't matter. And that's changed quite a bit too because a few years ago, if you posted at a certain time, no one would see it. They would not bring it up later in the feed. It's not that way anymore. They recycle your posts and they'll, I don't know if you notice, but you'll be looking at your feed and you'll pull up a post from like three days ago. And you're like, wait, I already commented on this. Why is it in my feed again? Instagram recycles posts. So it doesn't matter now when you're there. Yeah. And that shows too, that the people's stuff that you never, ever see, you're never going to see their stuff in your normal feed. That's why you have to actually go to their page and comment and like their stuff. Cause lots of times until you're interactive on their page, you'll never see their stuff. So if you're planning on connecting through just scrolling your Instagram, that's not very efficient way to connect with people because you're only going to see a tiny, tiny portion of the amount of people's stuff that are following you. Okay. So don't do that. <laughs> do you guys have any other questions or comments? Like, I don't know when Candace asked me to do, and I'm like, I feel like I'm not doing anything special at all. And if you guys did not, cause I listened to it today, the new coach training that just came out, you guys, it's awesome. So simple. You can get, I think, what is our six videos? Five. You can get all okay. the videos done in like five. five videos done in 22 minutes. And that's it's super quick. Yeah. They, so even if you've been a coach for six years, <laughs> go watch it. And it's just in your back office. If you didn't see where you go to monitor my, no, you don't go to monitor my business. You go down to the normal, the first page. And then down at the bottom where it says training, it's just like getting started right tab. So if you haven't done that, make sure you do that at least tomorrow, just so you know, and especially if you're a new coach, because they go over 
all the essentials, all the things that are what you need to do to grow your business. And you guys, that's what we do every day is to grow our businesses, what they go over. It's not getting the prettiest pictures. I mean, yeah, you want to be like appealing to people, but it's not making the coolest graphics and spending time on all these cool links and all this stuff. Like, don't worry about that stuff. Worry about talking to people, connecting with people and sending invites and showing up for your own, for your, for yourself. And that's how your business will grow. Cause I know for me and people that have been around for a while, every in personal development, <laughs> every single time when my business is struggling, it's because I'm, I've like gone away from doing the basics that we are taught from day one. So always do those things and get your mind in the right place through personal development. And also you guys, you grow confidence in invites, you grow confidence in the business, the more you do it, the more you just get out of your comfort zone and do it, push send, put your phone away, walk away. But that's how you get good at what, at anything you do is just by doing it. And you, it just happens. I mean, I have sent invites where I forgot to change their name and it said somebody else's name. I'm like, okay, really? <laughs> so we've all done a lot of dumb, stupid things, but guess what? I still continue to do it and it's paid off. <laughs> okay. I could have just been like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I was, I just that happened multiple times. So yeah, we are all dumb sometimes. <laughs> totally normal. I think when I asked you to talk about this and mention the success club thing, I could tell you were like, what am I going to tell them? And that was one of the reasons that I wanted to have this topic because I feel like success club anymore has got this huge, like aura of impossibility and like the, the golden unicorn, like success club is so hard and success club every month. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And it's not hard. There's nothing secret. There's nothing fancy. There's nothing magical. It's doing the things that you've been taught every freaking day that you're working. That's it. Like, that's all it is. You can learn different ways of doing it. Like, Cozy shared a lot of tips tonight. I know a lot of you will kind of make some tweaks to the way you're doing things to see if her way works better, but it's still just a matter of doing the vital behaviors. Be a product of the product share that journey, connect with people, find new people to connect with, invite people, follow up with them because they're going to forget. It's not as important to them as it was to you when you sent that scary invite. They were just like, Meh. so you have to follow up with them and then continue like wash, rinse, repeat, do it again, do it again, do it again. Because again, they're watching you, but they're not consumed with you. You're consumed with this journey. This is your life right now. The people watching you, they're not. They forgot you the second they scrolled past your picture. So you gotta show up in their feed again and you gotta show up in their inbox again and you have to do it again and again and again until they're like, I actually remember this girl. I've talked to her before. Oh yeah, she invited me to do this thing. And then the next time they're feeling fat, they're gonna call you and they're gonna be like, okay, I know you said something about this once upon a time and I kind of ignored you because I didn't care but I do now. So you just, it's just doing the vital behaviors. That's it. And if you do it consistently long enough, then you're a rock star like Cozy Folsom and everybody knows your name. Whatever. <laughs> uh, wrong. Nobody knows me. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you guys, it really is super simple and just be, be okay to look silly and look different and we're doing something different than outside of the norm but at the end of the day you guys what we do is not hard I promise sometimes we tell ourselves it's hard because it makes us feel uncomfortable but it's not hard other people have a million times harder jobs than we do and that's hard but sending invites sitting up on your phone on Instagram working is not hard so stop telling yourself it's hard because it's not so make it in your head like tell yourself make an affirmation about it success club is easy success club comes easy it's not it's not as hard as we make it out to be okay and just realize the people you're talking to now they're probably going to join you in december and guess what do not okay i was i can't remember whose call is on but do not take your foot off the gas now because so many people, once the holidays kind of start rolling, I mean, Halloween's the first of it. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. 
people kind of disappear. And then January 1st, they're like, hey, who wants to join my group? No one's going to join you because you didn't show up for three months. They're going to join the people that showed up the last three months and still got results in that process. Okay. So if anything, you guys do not take your foot off the gas now because it will, one, what you're doing now will dictate how January goes. And we all know that January is going to be your biggest month. Um, if you're showing up now, if you're inviting and connecting with people and doing all the things now. Okay. So don't do that. <laughs> and it's, it's the same cycle every single year. This is the sixth year I've done it, and it's going to be the same way again. The people that continue to show up will have an awesome beginning of the first quarter of next year. The people that don't and say that they're too busy with all the holidays and family and all this stuff, you guys have an hour a day to spend to focus on yourself, so do it, okay? Don't, <laughs> don't, tell, don't let yourself say, I'm too busy for yourself during the holidays. Okay, but still enjoy the holidays. Don't get me wrong. Please enjoy the holidays, but don't take your foot off the gas. Okay. Okay, I want all of you guys to figure out your non negotiables tonight. What are your non negotiables that you're going to do every day? This is even more important coming into the holidays because how easy is it to be like, oh, I want to bake all the things and play the Christmas music and watch the Hallmark movies and completely ditch your job? Too easy. So you need to figure out what your non-negotiable is going to be, and then you need to stick with it. And we're going to be the accountability. So send it to either me or Cozy or your coach or whoever, but you send it to somebody and tell us what is your non-negotiable? What are you doing every day to move your business forward? And then on good days that you're real, willing to work more, do more. But what is your baseline? What's your non-negotiable? You need to have that decided in advance or when those times come up, you won't have a non-negotiable. You'd be like, meh, maybe tomorrow. So set that tonight and stick with it for the rest of forever. Yeah. And I've totally done that where I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it today. I'll just double up tomorrow. And that doesn't happen. So again, have your non-negotiable set. Don't go to bed until those non-negotiables are done. Again, minus my lowest amount, five invites connecting for an hour every day, Monday through Friday. But I usually send 15 invites a day. Okay. So like the times I most of the time send more, but that's my non-negotiable if I'm traveling or doing something and I'm just not at home and you're just having a bad day. I still have to do that. And guess what? Your confidence grows when you keep promises to yourself. And that's just how, yeah, how your confidence grows by doing the things that make you feel really uncomfortable. That's okay. Cause we all are adults. <laughs> We expect kids to, to do things that are uncomfortable with them, but then we don't, and that's dumb. So we're adults. We can handle the un being uncomfortable. So you guys all have Amen, to sister. Your numbers. Don't, if you don't yet, think about it. You guys, my team. Send it to us before you go to bed. Yeah, I want to hear it. Diana, 10, not, yeah, perfect. Yes, yes. That's because Diana's a boss. Yeah. Nobody works as hard as Diana. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, do you guys have any other questions? Do you guys realize how uh, simple this business is? <laughs> Legit. That's simple. Send voice memos. If you're confident in that, send a voice memo with a with an invite that takes 15 seconds, you know? Super easy. No questions? Um, yes. Awesome, De Debbie. 10 invites. Better voice memos. Kylie, five a day, every night before bed. Yes, that's how I am. I'm like, I can't go to sleep until I send my invites, no matter what. I try to get them done early, but if I don't. Hey, cool. Thanks for getting on you guys. Cozy. Thanks for taking some time for us. You're welcome. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. I kind of miss like being with, with seeing some of your girls more. So, I know. Good. I know. That it works. Let's do this once in a while. I know we should. Okay. Well, you guys have a good night and I'll, I'll send you the recording Candace. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you guys. Yeah.